Last week, it was back to school for our kids. And my nine-year-old son, Jack, first day back at school, jumps in the car and he asked me this question. He's like, mum, so when are the Easter holidays? <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding? I mean, the boys just had nine weeks school holidays off the back of a year where he has spent more time fishing and crabbing than he has in the classroom. But you know what? It reminded me of something that I think as leaders, we need to keep front of mind. And it's this, that everyone needs something to look forward to. And I call this the power of anticipation. And it is a superpower. If you can harness that power as a leader, then you will create a highly engaged, motivated, enthusiastic team. Now, like Jack, I think most of us look forward to our holidays. In fact, they say you should always book your next holiday as soon as you come back from the one you've just had. But what if you could create an environment in your team where each and every team member has something to look forward to in their professional role in the workplace? And you know what? It doesn't have to be something huge. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, I was speaking to a client about their weekly team meeting. It's via Zoom at the moment. And she said, you know what, Midge, I look forward to that team meeting every single week. And a few weeks ago, it was cancelled by her leader, who was probably you know, too busy or had something else on. And she said she was absolutely devastated. And it surprised her because she didn't know how much that meeting meant to her. So I want you to ask yourself, for each and every team member, is there something you can do to create this anticipation? Can you give them something to look forward to? And in the meantime, I'm gonna work with Jack and uh, hopefully give him something to look forward to at school and not just the next round of school holidays. I am, I can, I'm Midja, mwah. Bye guys.